a salesperson, what's something that you go through that non-sales people don't understand that you need to know about? I'm Scott Silverbell. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento, California. I need a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. Now, here's the thing. If you're in sales and the people around you aren't or the people in your office, they do not understand the stress of going into a sales call, doing everything you can to overcome objections and beat objections, and then closing that deal. There's a lot. And so, you know, sometimes it takes you to step away and just shut down all the noise that's going on in your life and go in there and close that deal. And so, especially if you're consistent at closing, especially if you're really good at what you do, people in the office take that for granted. And they don't understand that, like, sometimes you have difficult buyers. Sometimes you have people who have multiple objections. Sometimes you're dealing with somebody who the only thing they have to offer is price. And it took all of your sales skills, your abilities, your talents to outsell them. And so... Closers are taken for granted. They really are. They're not understood in the world of sales. Good salespeople are not understood. And office staff tends to look around and go, yeah, but you're just a salesperson. And you're like, I'm just a salesperson who's paying for you to be here in that chair, right? Because if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for me out there closing deals, you couldn't be sitting in there because nobody would be paying for you. So people who aren't in sales do not understand this concept of the stress that it takes to close a deal. It's time, energy, and effort. And for them, time, energy, and effort means that they get paid the same exact amount per hour no matter what happens. And so they look around, they're like, yeah, it's not really that big a deal. And then so like, when your job is in jeopardy, and they're like, yeah, you can always find another one, they don't know. They don't know that you spent two, three, five, 10, 20 hours working that deal. You know, 87 follow-up phone calls, you know, back and forth, you know, going forward, talking about the product, the service, the widget, or the gizmo, and then dealing with the other salesperson doing the same thing. Because good salespeople, they like a good competition. Like, there's people when I was doing full-time sales that I loved going up against, and I loved taking them down, and it always stung when they got me. But it happens, right? That's just the role of sales. There's no second place in sales. So people who aren't in sales, they don't understand the stress of trying to close a deal, especially if they got to keep production uh, people employed, especially if they're trying to keep the company moving. Right? It doesn't matter what you sell. If you're in sales, you are keeping the production floor moving. And even if somebody brings a product in and sets it on the floor, you're keeping those people busy too. So non-believers, they don't get it. They, they look around, they take you for granted, they say really difficult things to you and uh, <laughs> things that really don't make sense when you look at it. You're like, but if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here. Okay. So just know, people who are not in sales do not and can't understand the stress of what it takes to close a deal and make it happen. It's just, you can explain it to them, and they're just, they're not gonna, they're, it's not, they can't comprehend it. They get paid by the hour, you get paid by the kill. Okay, paid by the hour, paid by the kill. They could go with you. I've had plenty of people in offices come ride with me, and they're like, but you make it look so easy, I could do that. And I'm like, that's only because I spent thousands of hours practicing. That's only because I spent thousands of sales calls going through it and going through this process. And like, they just like, they don't comprehend it. So sometimes it's not best to waste your time having the conversation. And there's nothing worse than when the office somehow loses a deal for you and causes a problem and they don't even care about it. They're like, yeah, not really that big of a deal. You're like, um, I spent 20 hours getting that sale. Yeah, but you'll get the next one. Oh, really? Like, you ever want to see me flip over a desk? That would be the time that that happens. Probably you too, okay? There's nothing worse than losing a deal because an inadequate office or an inept person in the office doing everything they can to undermine you. There you go. You got one thing to do from here. Just one thing. Find the subscribe button and click on it. And every time I send out a video, you'll get an update that says Scott Bell Consultant sent out a video. You should check it out, which you should. We'll see you soon. Thanks for dropping by. Aloha. Thank you.